yes you can you have manifested it it is already done and what's keeping you from really aligning with this financial abundance and stability that is literally within your future hello 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 there my beloved cancer and welcome in to sage sunset healing tarot thank you so much for being here i hope that you're doing well in this time remember that these are general messages from the cards so do take the messages that apply to you and the rest let it fly all right, Cancerian, so the energy that I'm getting for you is for you to, the need for you to choose one thing and master that. If you feel stuck, caught between a rock and a hard place, it's because you are working on things that you're emo investing a lot of your emotions in and it's taking a lot of your energy, a lot of your focus, a lot of your intentions, a lot of your emotions are going into something that you're working on manifesting but it's taking away your strength it's taking away your drive it's making you feel stuck so you need to focus on um you need to focus on fully establishing one thing you've got this you have what it takes to see it through to bring this one thing to the top with the ace of wands energy here you have what it takes to see one thing through successfully and then I feel it will give you more power, strength, bravery, know-how, how to bring the others along. Okay, so some of you are feeling really stuck right now, but you are coming through. That's the beautiful thing about what is going on here. You're going to come through with the Three of Pentacles energy. You're going to be successful materially, spiritually, in your relationships, your love life. New opportunities coming in for you. What you hope for, what you're dreaming of will manifest. You're keeping your eyes on the prize. And the prize is your Three of Pentacles. Your money, your manifestation of money or your well-being, your sense of well-being, your glory. You're going to be victorious. I'm telling you, but you, you need to climb through or ascend through feeling stuck. It's, I feel like you're, you're either thinking of going back to some past connections, past habits, past beliefs, past ways of thinking and acting, feeling, being, expressing, or you feel stuck out. You feel like you don't know where to put your foot in the future. You feel like you don't know what to do, how to move forward. You know what you want. You're dreaming big, but you're telling yourself you don't know how to do it. You don't have the tools necessary to get you there. So you're saying, all right, maybe I should rally back to some past ways. But this is telling me that you do have what it takes. You're only feeling confused because you're working on too many things at once, wanting to get there instead of taking the journey there and enjoying each step, focusing on manifesting one thing, establishing one thing at a time will do you some justice. You have so many beautiful creative ideas. I feel you. You know, some of you are musicians. You want to be out there. You want to be seen with the Queen of Pentacles energy. You want your dreams realized by you. It is coming. You are going to see your dreams realized. But you take it step by step. With the Ace of Pentacles energy, I feel within your environment, you are so blessed. You have all the support you need and that is why you have all these magnificent gifts to share. You're eager to share them, but you're holding yourself back with these feelings of resistance because you're telling yourself you're not there yet. The energy I'm feeling is relax. That would help you is for you to relax, be grateful now, be grateful for each day and to commit each day to living the life are moving toward the life you desire that will make you feel as if you're actually building up this momentum the energy of support is definitely around you let us shuffle to get to see what the ace of pentacles energy is what is the ace of pentacles energy the five of pentacles something about a push forward uphill as if you think something is an uphill climb, but maybe you're not enjoying the journey and I'm being, the message is enjoy the journey. Have a laugh about it. Find joy in what it is that you're doing. What is the nine of hearts? The five of pentacles. Enjoy the journey forward. If you feel something is strenuous, 
that's how it will feel that's what that's how it will resonate with you but if you try to change your perspective or change your perspective see it as fun see it as you know if i wasn't able of to do this i wouldn't be given the task you know if i wasn't up to it i wouldn't be put up to it so it's it's yours to conquer you have all the support you need you're going to see yourself through all right you're looking for your happy ending you fear you may not get there but i'm telling you you're coming all the way through through your hearts you have so much support on your side what is the eight of swords energy here what is holding cancer it could be what is the king of pentacles energy something that is keeping you out of alignment you feeling as if look it's how you feel about yourself what do you feel you deserve do you feel like you deserve the life you dream of it feels as if you are the one that is holding yourself back from really aligning with your dreams do you know that what you ask for is given and it is yours have you claimed it have you said yes i deserve this it is mine or do you dream of something while telling yourself you don't deserve it? Ah, oh, this is not the life I'm going to live. I don't deserve it. Someone like me can't really manifest this. The truth is, yes, you can. You have manifested it. It is already done. And what's keeping you from really aligning with this financial abundance and stability that is literally within your future but you're being blinded because you're not seeing the truth and the truth is i feel you need to work on yourself you need to re-inspire yourself get to know who you are some more start loving yourself and start telling yourself that you are worthy because you are and the cards are telling me that you are you just need to see that how do we remove the blinders the eight of swords energy hmm. remove past energies from you what you've learned as a child about money about love about relationships there are certain blinders that you need to remove they are not necessary for you anymore in fact they're obstructing your vision ahead it is harder for you to align cancerian with this dream of yours this manifestation of financial abundance and stability because you are telling us you have old belief patterns playing from what your parents told you, your church is a society. All of that is still within you. And that's why I feel like there's, there needs to be new inspiration coming up through. We're going to clarify the 10 of ones. Remind me to do so um, to see what this new inspiration can be that will help you to remove these blinders. Start by disconnecting from, you know, just create your own vision and start loving you, healing you and knowing that you have the support needed to be, do, have whatever you want, desire out of this life. It is within you you only dream this up because it is within you and because it is yours it is yours it is there because it is yours it is your dream to claim don't hold yourself back don't tell yourself no nah, I don't deserve it no one else in my family has ever had this or ever done this I can't do this I don't see this around me so there needs to be a lot of change a change in your environment a change in whose opinions you let in, a change in your your meditative ability, um, how often you meditate and really sink into yourself. You know, the things that you're telling yourself, you need to encourage you and inspire you for change because you want this and you have created this. So you deserve to align with it. We have the two of wands and the two of pentacles here. It is here, it has been given unto you because you asked. Don't hold yourself back. Any other clarifications for the Eight of Swords energy? And and I, I feel the energy of a father, a very old fashioned father figure with the Jack of Hearts card. And I feel this person may have a change of heart. This person may come around and say, I'm sorry, son or child, my beloved one. You know, someone from your past energy, the five of hearts is past connections, especially those that are either romantic or family relationships, dear connections. These connections are the ones that we hold dear. We value these people's opinions. These are the people we grew seeing. These are the people we experience. All right. So it's hard to break free from the narrative that we grew up 
living by the creator own but it's time for you to step into magician energy and start visualizing creating and scripting use these swords these blinders to actually tell yourself that this is not what i want and use these these swords to write your new story you have plenty of opportunity here to write something new for yourself while you're here feeling out your environment maybe not moving forward much it's an opportunity for you to take to script to write your own script to write yes elaborate on your dream how you want to get there how you want to feel getting there each step of the way is important starting from this moment from the, from rising up in the morrow how do you want to feel every day going towards reaching your dream fulfillment here and aligning with you you are worthy you are worthy whosoever made you feel in your past that you weren't worthy you need to let them go and this person this person they it's they would apologize to you for doing this to you when they realize that they were wrong all along that's the energy that's the energy with this what is the jack or who is a jack of hearts <laughs> Oh my goodness, definitely a person from your past. Look at this. We have the four, five, and six of hearts. The six of hearts and the four of hearts came out to clarify. The jack of hearts, this is this is a possibly a father connection, a brother, just a loved one from your past. The six of hearts is past connections, those that are dear. And it's something within you that you need to heal. I feel a part of you you need to revisit something that happened at a significant time in your life possibly at age five that you need to return to revisit through meditation through introspection and that is why the queen of hearts is here you need to be able to nurture yourself as well don't run away don't deny or neglect reject you breathe in when that part of you calls you and it's going to call you through through terror through painful memories sometimes but well, you need to be able to go to that person to that smaller child or who whatever the situation was and be there for you apologize forgive and give love heal you with the six of hearts energy so I feel you were denying some connection this could be with yourself as I'm saying or with a person in your past maybe this person wanted to reach out to you and you're not accepting or vice versa you reaching out to them not accepting you but it needs to heal it's going to different definitely transform your perspective on well-being and your sense of worth when you're ready because you're ready to dream big and to live oh this is the king of pentacles energy you know and you already we already have the ace of pentacles energy which is saying this is already in your environment you have all that it takes to become we have the ace the three the queen the king the two of pentacles you already have all they need to become abundant here we said we're going to clarify the ten of wands energy angel spirits guides what new inspiration? What is the Ten of Wands energy for Cancerians in this time? Hmm. Movement. Some people may need to move to physically relocate, to create something new, to move to a place where you have peace of mind, clarity. You can focus on you, where your voice can be heard, where you can live true. You can really express yourself as true as you want to feel, to be, to live. Um, I need. To, what is the Queen of Cups energy here? Angel spirits, guides, beloved ancestors. And I feel you need space to work on yourself as well. You need space to work on yourself, to heal, to clear up energies that weren't serving you. It's like you are so deeply in, embedded within your family's energy, your, your family pathology even the genes the heredity all that you have um inherited from your family energetically spiritually it's still really embedded in you powerfully so for some of you for some of you to oh my god some of you to really heal and transform your life you're going to need to focus on clearing out energies 
focus on breathing, breathing well, spending time alone rec to recuperate, to rejuvenate, to heal, to love on you some more. You know, what is the Queen of Cups energy? Self-work. And you're like getting there. Trusting in your heart. The Eight of Cups energy is coming up a lot. What is the Eight of Cups? Valuing self. So I feel doing a lot of work on yourself, trusting in your heart, going on your own journey of whatever you deem as valuable to you and sticking through that whether that's how you speak the things you allow in your environment the people the connection that's you following in your heart and valuing you and i feel like each time you decide to level up to value you to make the decision that's right for you you are choosing to love you and to connect with things that someone would love who loves themselves will do and you're making the decision every day to move into the space of valuing yourself. And this is how you become so super abundant. And you already are because you are wishing, hoping, dreaming for this. You've already created all of this for you. And so to align, let me repeat, you have to move away from certain connections, whether that is energetically or physically. You have to become at peace with you as cancerian loving healing nurturing going back to past connections energetically traveling physically going back even and healing rebuilding loving forgiving transforming and you're literally lighting up heal you healing is what is taking you into your abundance you moving away and letting go from things letting go of things that are not serving you is taking you into your abundance it's making you light okay that's how i feel light and light feels like vibrancy it feels like wealth it feels like health and prosperity sun energy light all right thank you so much for coming through cancer and i love you so much i hope you enjoyed this reading if you did and you care to do leave a compliment behind by thumbing up the video also share the videos with those you love and subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell to be notified whenever i upload new content for you all of your support is greatly abundantly appreciated and i will see you next time much love until then take care remember that all is within you bye